to finish up this piece, I have been starting to work out the figures I'm going to add into it. I want to create kind of a narrative, so I found some interesting kind of figures, animal forms that I'm sorting out. Uh, first off, what I do is kind of make a little bit of a digital sketch in the computer, um, borrowing from different sources, and then print them out and kind of see what they might look like kind of in this space. As you can see, those are the figures I was messing around with around the edges. And now I'm starting to paint them in, which is the exciting part to me. And um, I think this piece is going to come to a finish real soon. So um, I'll give you a little bit of a view of, of how I'm painting in these figures and see what happens. So I'm using some more subdued colors for this um, so that it meshes well the drawing slash painting that I have already established in here and um, just giving the figure more sense of color, value, depth so that it can exist in the space of the painting in an interesting way. So you can see my work is really detailed and so I use my pinky finger to help steady my hand while I'm doing something that is really refined. Uh, some artists use something called a mall stick. Uh, I don't find that terribly useful. It looks uh, pretty complicated trying to use two hands to just make this mark and I think that it would kind of get in my way, but totally up to you. Maybe you want to try it. I chose this character with the gun um, just because you know, the gun violence has been quite a bit in the news lately. Not to mention um, this war uh, with Ukraine and Russia. So this character has a bit of that look of being potentially Russian. But then if you think about the American problem of gun violence and gun control, I know he has kind of an old school gun, but it's a very real issue that is not just a part of war but something that people see on a daily basis in their life. So I give a sense of suggested narrative according to what I know personally and what is in society. So it has both a personal point of view and also more of a larger kind of public scale point of view when I'm suggesting a narrative of something. And sometimes these things are somewhat hidden. Some of them are more blatant. I like it to be open enough so that the viewer can take away what they want from the piece. Because so I think it's important to remember that making art isn't just about, you know, pushing some paint around or pushing a pencil around or whatever else other material you're using. It's also about the ideas that you're expressing. So these conceptual ideas behind the work are just important, as important to me as um, being able to manipulate the paint the way that I want to. So when I put the figures on top, they are a bit separate from the environment. Um, I see them as sort of characters on a stage, you know, playing things out. And so in that sense, if you think about a performance or a theater and how they walk around in this shallow space, um, you know, acting out a story. So I paint them separately because they are these other entities that could perhaps step out of the painting and exist in life. And they could potentially step into another painting and exist in a different way in another piece. So when I get to doing some of the other figures, you'll see that this man is actually pointing his gun at a woman across the space of the painting. and. So I suppose that's more of like a different kind of like personal narrative where you have the larger narrative of what I described with gun violence and war. And then you have other kind of side narratives that happen 
in terms of like creating a sense of a personal story or personal nature, like um, things that suggest maybe complex relationships between men and women or to or any other kind of relationship, mother, daughter, female, female, etc. Um, even how we kind of can become uh, animalistic in some of our behaviors and things like that. And so the figures that I put into the work aren't always just figures. They're sort of half human, half animal sometimes, uh, depending on what kind of feeling I want to get across or what I want to show. And the figures, you know, kind of are unique in terms of their identity and like what I want to show, like regarding their uh, sexuality and their sort of humane nature, things like that. I like inserting them because it allows me a space to um, play and not have the painting be too, you know, constrictive. And I can, with each piece that I make, create a different narrative according to, um, you know, my experience or, you know, what I've observed on a daily basis or in society. So this narrative is something that doesn't always happen at the start of a painting. It happens as I build the environment and as it starts to speak to me and what um, elements, you know, the, the painting really asks for me to include. I mean, like I started with, you know, kind of these weed forms as that sort of larger conceptual idea. And, you know, I wasn't sure what pattern I would put in until I did a little bit more research and felt, you know, what would look right in that space, but also something that would support, you know, what I might want to suggest later with figures. And then the figures themselves are where I start to, I suppose, be a little bit more specific and the painting itself becomes something more in terms of expressing a particular narrative and idea. So it grows and builds over time. So I'm not, you know, you might see me and think that, you know, my paintings are a little bit controlled or like I have everything mapped out, but really I don't. Um, I do have a way of, you know, doing my process. But with this new series, you know, it's all been an exploration for me. But it's nice to feel that at this point, I feel a little bit more comfortable with how things are proceeding and I'm excited about this new body of work. Okay, so I got all the figures completed. I'm really happy with how things turned out. Hopefully you can get a little bit of a sense of it. Um, I know it's a pretty complex piece, but um, I'm really enjoying the optical effect of the sort of transparent layers that I added in, as well as the dialogue amongst the figures that are kind of hidden within the piece. 
So I hope that you know you enjoy it and um, I'm looking forward to exhibiting it at some point sometime soon. So here is more of a detailed view of the piece with figures and everything included. You can get more of a sense of how those transparent layers combine together when you look closely and you can see what's happening with the individual figures that I added in and these kind of creature forms. So I'm kind of excited about this piece and hope to do maybe some more um, kind of drawings, mixed media kind of panel pieces in the future since I'm really enjoying the effect of that graphite that's underneath, if you can see that.